Hey there, my name is Jason. I'm founder of FreeCPAPAdvice.com and FreeCPAPAdvice.com forward slash forum. If you haven't joined yet, please join now. Let's talk about pressure pulse and thought forced oscillation technique. If you don't know what the hell these are, you may not care. But this is something people ask about and more often than not what they're, what they're asking about is... Uh, it's because they're looking at their sleepyhead report and they see some stuff in there and they're like, what the hell is that? So, let's try to figure that out. What the hell is that? We're going over pressure pulses, which is from a Philips Respironics machine. And FOT forced oscillation technique is used by ResMed. The ResMed product line. Let's go ahead and take a look. Let's take a look at these two things. They're pretty much used for the same purpose. Phillips Trust products, these are used by the machine to determine if it's a central apnea or an obstructive apnea. They don't have belts. In the sleep lab, we have those belts, the thoracic and abdominal belts. And if those are still moving when someone stops breathing, we know it's, it's an obstructive apnea because they're trying to breathe. They're trying to draw in air, but they can't because there's an obstruction. If they stop breathing and the belts stop moving, then we know that... Um, I'm sorry, what did I just say? If they stop breathing and the belts also stop moving, we know that they're not even trying to breathe, which is why they stop breathing. This would be a central apnea. Um, the machines call these clear airway apneas. Um, now, if you want to see an example of these, you can go to my website, freecpapadvice.com, and then you look up uh, sleep disordered breathing and look under central apnea or obstructive apnea. And you can see exactly what I'm talking about. But for purposes of sleepyhead, what it looks like is uh, you'll see some breathing, and then you'll see a flattening. And then what a pressure pulse is, it's trying to, it's flattened, and it gets to that 10 second mark, and it's going to go. Bloop. And it, what it does is it sends out just a little wave like that, like a little P wave, if you're familiar with uh, EKG. And then, you know, whatever happens, it'll, it'll start breathing again naturally. Well, this little thing right here is the pressure pulse. And what it does, it's sending a ping like a, like a bat sends out sonar. Sends out a little puff, a little puff of air. And if it gets resistance, it knows that it's an obstructive apnea. And if it doesn't get the right kind of resistance, if it's a little more open or whatever, then it's going to call it a clear airway. Um, are the machines right a lot of the time? Mm, not really, but um, that's what they're supposed to do. What I say not really, uh, it might be just being a jerk and a naysayer like normal. No, I've just, uh, I've, I compare these to real sleep studies um, where I had sleepyhead data and I can timestamp them and get the exact same spot and I can see that they're actually wrong quite a bit of the time, though not always but they're wrong like way often than they should be. So anyway, that's what a pressure pulse is. You use that to determine. It'll tag it either, either a CA or an OA or whatever. Um, sometimes it's so jacked up, it'll call it a hypopnea. Uh, anyway, uh, it's a pressure pulse. Um, you can also turn these off on your machine if you just go into the settings. Okay. EP, oh, I call it EPR. What a ding dong. No. F-O-T. This stands for forced forced oscillation technique. So what this is, you'll have that same. They they use this uh, for two reasons. It's a little more sophisticated than the pressure pulse, um, but it's to uh, determine the same thing. So they'll be breathing, then all of a sudden they'll stop breathing, and then instead of saying that one pulse, it goes. And you'll see it just like that. So a lot of people are like, oh my God, I'm having a seizure. No, you're not having a seizure. It's forced oscillation technique. It's trying to do two things. One, these are like pressure pulses where it gets the same feedback and it can say, oh, it's open or it's closed. And it can say either CA or OA, obstructive apnea. Um, but what this also does, this is a technique that is used to try to get someone to breathe that stimulates breathing so no matter what it is the machine knows you're not breathing and it knows it's really good for people to breathe and so it's going to go ahead and use this forced oscillation technique which it's going to do two things it's going to tell you if it's a ca or an oa and it's also going to get you breathing again so that's the difference between the two um do i have any real life examples of this or just your crappy drawings 
Well, we do have a real-life example. Nada! This is my forum, and this is gentleman was... I don't think the question actually had anything to do with it, but it was the first example I found, and you can see right here where it's a little flat, and then all of a sudden it starts doing the, the hooky pooky shooka, shake 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 and you can see it engages about the same way every time. You can see how it, it does this, and it marks it as a clear airway. These are a little more clear down here. But you can see at the same time, man, it uh, turns this on uh, to try to determine that and to try to get the gentleman to breathe. Um, I don't have one of the pressure pulse, but you get the gist. That's what it is. So if you see the strange movement in your uh, breathing pattern, looking at sleepy head or anything else, that is what it is. Well, hopefully that was a little insightful for you. Um, if you have any questions, please join my forum, freesleepadvice.com forward slash forum. Please like the video, subscribe to my channel. Thanks.